good job. What's up, smarty people, and welcome to the undersea world of what makes you smarter. Coming to you live and in living color from the Radio What Studios, or maybe the undersea. Maybe I'm on a coral reef somewhere. It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do I always send you? DJLittleRock.com. One more time, DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote, and maybe you could have me at your next event. You know I like to party with the people. Are you not entertained? Also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, got some interesting facts for you from under the sea. Dolphins and whales can only taste salt. Compared to other members of the animal kingdom, humans are pretty good at tasting things. Our primate biology gives us the ability to detect five basic tastes. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami or savory. These five basic tastes create the nearly limitless flavor profiles of all the foods we enjoy or detest. But not all animals are so lucky. Birds, for example, can't detect spiciness in foods, which is why a pigeon could munch on a Carolina Reaper without a second thought. Taste also varies widely among mammals, and dolphins and whales may be some of the worst off because they have devolved to only taste salt. That's right. These unfortunate creatures have slowly lost their sense of taste over millions of years. In 2014, scientists analyzed the genomes of 15 species of baleen and toothed whales and found a massive loss of taste receptors across the board. Although these receptors were technically still present, they had been irreparably damaged by genetic mutations. Researchers were particularly surprised by the loss of bitter receptors, as many toxins in the sea have bitter taste. This slow but steady loss of taste is likely tied to how whales and dolphins eat, as they tend to swallow prey whole rather than chew like many fellow mammals do. So while slowly losing their sense of taste is certainly a bitter pill to swallow, luckily, these cetaceans can't taste it anyway. More tidbits of information for you. Weight in pounds of a blue whale's tongue, 5,400 pounds. Year the Miami Dolphins became the first and still only U.S. football team to achieve a perfect season, 17-0. 1972, I remember I remember I was only three years old, but I remember the hoopla Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins. I was living in Miami at the time. Number of dolphin species in the world, 42. Maximum number of taste buds found in catfish, the most of any animal in the world, 175,000. Even more tidbits of information to fill your head with knowledge. Become the smartest person at the cocktail party. Whales and dolphins sleep with only half of their brain at a time. Whales and dolphins are mammals, and that means they breathe air into their lungs just as we do. So without water breathing evolutionary advantages like gills, how do whales and dolphins sleep without drowning? One big benefit is that marine mammals are much better at holding their breath underwater than us primates sperm whales and i'm going to read the <laughs> the speed the the uh the, the genome here uh, uh physeter macrophallus for example can go 90 minutes without having to come up for air but over millions of years whales and dolphins have also developed a few, a few strategies for catching some z's on the go Young cetaceans, for example, will swim alongside their mothers and rest within their slipstream. <laughs> this gives calves time to develop sleeping strategies as well as put on enough blubber to keep them afloat. As adults, whales and dolphins will sleep 
with half of their brain still operating at low levels of alertness. The other half, along with the opposite eye, is completely asleep. This helps a cetacean keep one eye out for predators while also periodically breaching the water's surface to take in gulps of air through its blowhole. And that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Dolphins and whales can only taste salt. Ten bits of information. That's it for this edition of What Makes You Smarter. Stick around for more. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Throw me some comments. Let me know what's going on in your neck of the woods, in your corner of this globe. <laughs> Across the globe. There's another one for you. Uh, also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called What Makes You Famous? What Makes You Famous? Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous? That's it for me. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace.